Hi guys, in this video let's talk about a problem different bits sum pair wise. So this problem is also by the name Hamming distance. So basically it was asked in Google in one of the interviews of Google. So let's see what the problem says. So we define f of x y f is a function that take that takes two parameters x and y. So it defines as the number of different corresponding bits in binary representation of x and y. So f of 2 7 is equal to 2. How? So 2's representation in binary is this and 7's representation is this and both of these numbers differ at 2 bit positions, right? So uh, sorry, so they differ at 2 bit positions. So first is this and second is this, right? So therefore the answer is 2. Now you are given an array of n positive integers uh, from a1 till an. So you have to find the sum of f of ai comma aj for all pairs i and j such that i j lies between 1 to n and you have to return the answer modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 right so basically you are given in this case if you see you are given 1 3 and 7 so basically what you have to do you have to do f of you have to find f of 1 1 how will we find f of 1 1 so it's nothing but represented 1 in this form then again how many bits differ no bit right so it will give us 0 now what about f of 1 3 so this is 1 right and 3 is this so there is just one position at which both uh, numbers differ so therefore it will give us 1 what about 1 and 5 so I have 1 and 5 is there so there is again just one bit position at which they differ so again it will give me 1 now I have to find for 1 and 5 and 5 and 1 separately right that means they are counted different okay and also i have to find uh, for uh, 1 and 1 5 and 5 3 and 3 uh, so i'm talking about this particular array so basically if i have some i and j then i have to calculate for both i j and j i they are they are considered separate as well as i have to calculate for i and i as well right so now let's see what what we can do about this problem right let's see what we can do about this problem so the brute force approach says that uh, that we can pair up every element and find number of different pair of bits right so basically i can pair up every element every element right so i can have one one so what are the pairs i so these are pairs are already written one 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 three one five three one three three so i'll take them separately and then i'll go over these their bits and then i'll find that okay they differ at these many positions and i'll return so if i'm pairing up every other element with every other element so i'll get the time complexity of order of n square but let's see if we can do better than this so let's talk about the optimized version for that let's build some intuition so basically we are saying that we want to count the number of ones number of ones right so uh, so basically we want to count the number of um, play number of bits that differ right at every place so i have let's say i i places so i have 0 1 2 3 these many places are there in some number so i have right now my array is let's say so let me erase all of this let's say my array is 135 only right now and uh, so here i have 0 0 1 here I have 0 1 1 and here I have 1 0 5 so that uh, sorry 1 0 1 so basically uh, I what I have to do I have to check key okay for every pair I have to check key every at what ith position the bit differ so I want to check that if some i if at some position bit bits differ or not now how can i check that so basically if i find the zor if i find the zor and if i get zero i know that means the bit positions are same bit uh, that means the bits are same right so bits are same but that is not of my use right so i want to find where bits are different so basically bits will be different 0 1 or 1 0 when my zor will be 1 right when my zor will be 1 so i'll be trying to zor the bits and i'll look that how many ones are there right so if i would have given let's say 0 and 1 only so if this is only my number and the binary representation of them will be this only right so now i'll simply zor it and i'll get 1 and i'll simply return 1 but now now let's say i have i have 
zero uh, so i have only single zero but now i have let's say three ones okay i have three ones so three ones are there so i'll do what now so i know that one pair of zero and one will give me one bit it'll tell me that if there is one pair which is zero and one it'll contribute to one bit right that it differs by one bit so now it was included for one pair so here i have one zero and let's say three ones so what i'll do what i'll do now so i'll associate the zero with one so now i know i want to find the different bit uh, so i'll be pairing up a different bit right i'll be pairing up zero one right uh, zero and zero and one and one won't be of use to me so i'll be pairing the zero with this one then the zero with this one then the zero with this one essentially what am i doing i am i am doing uh, i am trying to find the number of zeros how many number of zeros are there and i'll simply i'll simply multiply it with the number of ones that are there right so i'll simply oh wait a minute so i'll simply multiply it with the number of ones that are there right so basically if i have uh, three zeros and uh, two ones so what i'll be doing i'll be associating every three zeros i'll be associating all the three zeros with all the ones right i'll be doing this isn't it so i'll be associating all of them so essentially i'm multiplying so three into two that means six six times they'll be associated and that means six number of ones will be there right so essentially now what can we do instead of forming the pairs i was given one three five instead of forming the separate pairs right instead of forming the separate pairs what i can do is i can simply uh represent them in binary form so what i'll get i'll get uh, for one i'll get zero zero one for uh, three i'll get zero one one then for five i'll get zero uh, i'll get get uh, i'll get one zero one right so what i can do is i can simply check i can simply go to every bit position to every bit position and i can count the number of ones and number of zeros then i can simply multiply them up because each of those pair will be giving will be contributing one uh one right it'll they'll be contributing one to the answer so i have this uh ith bit as zero one two so let's see let's see with the example okay let's see with the example so basically let's consider the uh, bit position one okay let's consider this part let me change the color so let's consider this part right so i have i have zero one and zero so if i were taking them separately so let's say if i were considering one and three so i get bit of one so one is bit of one and three is nothing but it's a zero and three is one right so now it will give me the zero of one that means these bits differ right and if i'll be taking for let's say one and five so here i have zero and in five i have zero so they give me zero because they don't differ now if i have three and five so here three is one and five is zero so they give me one that means they differ so so since i'm associating every zero with every one so i'll simply count the number of at every ith position i'll simply count the number of ones and number of zeros so here my number of zeros is two and my number of ones is one so i'll simply do two into one that will give me two that will give me two now i also have to multiply it by two because since i'm considering just not one and three but I'm, i'll be considering three three and one also right so therefore they'll give me same result right so i'll simply multiply it by two so i'll be ca calculating for this bit position uh, whatever be my answer then i'll be adding it to this bit position whatever be my answer then i'll be adding to the, this bit position so essentially i'll be adding all the answers bitwise i'll be checking all the answers bitwise so let's see the pseudo code for this so pseudo code goes something like this so basically i have defined my mod because i have to do mod uh, the answer with this at the end so i am given an array a right that will have the numbers that i have to find the uh, humming distance for 
so initially my answer is at zero now i have kept a count for counting the number of zeros and number of ones right so here i have a count variable so my i will go I, i will traverse to all the bit positions so i am considering here that my that my integer is of 32 bit right so i i will be iterating to all the 32 bits right so it will start from the zeroth position and it will be moving to most significant bit position right so from 0 to 31 i'll be going then my count is initially 0 and uh, then then i'll be iterating over my array over my uh, array given array right then simply i'll be checking that what all bits are set so in case of as uh, one right so it's zero uh, th bit is set so this will this will essentially give me what this will give me so uh, aj in this case is 001 let's say so i have 1 3 and 5 with me so let's say aj in this case is nothing but 1 and one left shifted by i that means one left shifted by sorry so this shouldn't have no it's right so basically i is 0 i is 0 right so one left shifted by 0 it gives me what it gives me one only right so i'll have this now it will give me one that means this bit position is set in this number so it will give me true and i'll simply count now my count becomes it becomes one right so i'll simply iterate it over for all the elements now i'll go for my j will become one and i'll be going to 3 so now i'll check that okay 3 is this and again one left shifted by 0 it will give me one only right so i'll get 001 and again this this will give me what this will give me one that means this bit is shift uh, this bit is set so this will return me true and i'll simply count uh, increments my increment my count to 2 right and at the end of iterating all these elements after checking there the bit the unit positions bit right then i'll so i have my count of the number of ones right and the count of the number of zeros will be nothing but num uh, number of uh, elements that are there in the array minus the count so that will give me the count of the number of zeros and since we have seen previously that if i multiply them together then i'll be associating every zero with every one and that will give me the set bit right and i'll be multiplying that with 2 because i'll be considering ij as well as ji separately right and then i'll be adding that to my answer and i'll uh, also be doing the mod modding it with uh, the mod which is here i have taken and then i'll simply return my answer so this is the approach and the complexity is going to be nothing but uh, the this loop will run for 32 times so it's going to be 32 and this loop will run for the number of elements in the array time so that means n so it's going to be 32 into n so thank you so much guys